We're coming to you live from Tokyo, Japan at the world famous Krokyo Dome. You know, world famous doesn't mean as much as it used to since most of the world is a charred wasteland, but you get the meaning. The new Gorland Zombies battle, the Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. After a week of hype, trash talk, and lots of egg houses, it's time for kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Second down and long. Up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta ask. <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. like a moose back, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. that no one can score in this league without showboating. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback got to find open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. First down 
down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. forever. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Briggs? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down in a very lot. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second down in a lot. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Boom! First and ten. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First and ten. Uh, 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 it's two yards.
yard run before he stopped. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And he just used his beast boot dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Ma, look at him freak go! He's unstoppable! Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. I don't understand. Why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the situation where they should all... And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. And he breaks away. Oh, man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for Celeste. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. You know how some people go to car races just to see car crashes? Well, some of them, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim! Oh, boy. and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. The kicker kicks the ball so hard his leg is a registered firearm. And now you see why. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! Third down and long. 
Even though he's a big, nasty D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought being snags. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Either way, they're going for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. You know, you have to wonder if the original creators of the Doomsday AI programmed them to dance as a way to mock us as they took over, or if they taught themselves in the irradiated ruins of the old world. <laughs> Either way, enjoy. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He took a beef boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beef boost injection, too. Nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed! That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. Broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. more points so they're going for two and perfect pass for two points that's a piece of art right there bricks yeah Edwin, the QB turned the defense into an abject mess here comes the kicker I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, with the 
brain scrambler. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. Third down and eight. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Bricks? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. Third down and eight. Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shot you back to life after. And it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. trick that'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently you snooze you lose unless you're in a sleeping contest smart move there stopping the clock with their first time out and for all you know maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash time to speed things up the offense goes into a two-minute drill and that's another pick Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, with the punishing hit. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stomp them into the ground. The offense defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and... Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. The ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Quarterback just threw a sonic. He shoots that one in there for a touchdown. Now, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without heads, remember? Yeah. We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. That's a bad kick, and it's going to cost them some yards. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. The ground game 
should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> and they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. And defense calls its final timeout. Good. I gotta run to the John. That means I gotta deal with that grumpy little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his lifesavers, dirty comb, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a class. I'm getting ready for a Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. We should just skip this step and make touchdown for seven. What? And can it goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I have three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. <laughs> Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The Tokyo Terminators win the game today. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. There you go. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flick or ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit, what up? What? 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 what?